Hi folks, welcome back, and as always, thank you so much for joining. So, today's video, we're going to make clear plastic, and we're going to use milk. Now, what uh, got me on the trail of this, of course, is uh, my desire to uh, get face shields out there as well. Uh, new gear for the new normal, no doubt. Uh, knowing me, whenever I handle a piece of plastic, I'm always questioning how can this be made of bioplastic. So that's what we are going to do. Now, there's a lot on the table today because I've been experimenting a little bit beforehand <laughs> to see if it can be done with uh, a formula already. And I'll put in a little brief segment there of uh, the first mix. And what we have are good results however mixed results let me explain that where it dried clear it's very clear near optically clear however where it dried thick you can see the amber color against the white fairly well and it's still brittle even though I added some uh, glycerin so uh, the glycerin has to go up in the next patch I'm going to remake this and again I'm going to use just powdered casein that's a bodybuilder supplement uh, find it online uh, it's a uh, milk protein casein just regular household ammonia and uh, before I pour we're going to add some glycerin and stir that a bit this chemistry takes about 24 hours so, uh, patience with this project here. Now, what I'm going to use, of course, is uh, my lab stirrer that I have up here, and I'm going to mix it in a beaker for 24 hours. Now, after that, I'm going to pull this out and let it dry. However, here's the bug. In this batch, some of it dried thick and some of it was thin. And the reason for that is that even though I'm completely level to the eye or to this, which should be more than sufficient, well, I'm not. So I'm going to introduce something that I use to eliminate that problem and it may also help you as well. If you want to do this on a small scale, I'm going to help you and show you how I did it. So. Let's examine this little construct that I have in the back here. And I test a lot of things with this. It actually sits on the other side of the lab, usually. And it's a very simple thing to build when you dig down just a little bit. If you're handy and uh, with electrical uh, things then you'll be just fine now what I have here is just a, a glass plate and a, yeah my go-to stuff is definitely silicone for adhesives and things like that this is just a bare microwave motor it rotates at two and a half rpm uh, now this will rotate a different direction with every stop of the motor. It will start in the next direction, back and forth. So be aware of that. Now I've got it wired to an electrical box now and with switches. Now in this situation, this is a heater that blows across there for lamination operations, but we're not going to use that and I'm not going to discuss that. But I will discuss that. I have a separate switch to just spin the microwave motor. What that's going to allow it to do is because of the two and a half revolutions per minute, obviously, over the couple of days that it's going to take for this chemistry to dry, it will allow it to be very smooth and a uniform thickness throughout. It's a very slow spinning action. So, 
I pop that on. Pour the new sample. It's just a light covering to uh, keep out dust. Now, as you saw, the size of this plate is not as big as this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make several and stack them up. As you can see, these plates will stack. They're not very heavy, lightweight, and I'm going to let it stir for a couple of days. Now, I have a safety feature in here in big black letters on the blue. I have a fusible link, okay? So if you're going to construct things, be safe. Put everything in approved boxes with the approved safety devices and then uh, appropriate size uh, cords, things like that. So be a good experimenter. <laughs> follow the rules, follow safety rules. Uh, physics is universal, so follow your safety rules. And uh, I'm going to check back after I get some of these made to see if I can come close to that. All right, so let's get started. So let's look at this more closely. Here's the clear part. Very nice. Very nice. But if you try to pour it too thick, you're going to end up with this. It just takes too long to dry.
All right, so let's see where we're at. What I've done is uh, made um, several adjustments to the chemistry, uh, specifically to glycerin. And I've produced several different types of products by just that one simple adjustment. So this is the latest one here. But I've been busy, and I'm going to show you what I've got here so far. Now, what I've ended up with, the final chemistry for what I'm about to peel off this plate here, is um, 20 milliliters of ammonia, and that's with uh, 20 grams of casein, and uh, I ended up with 4 milliliters of glycerin. The sample size on this was 15 milliliters. Grams, liters, same thing. And I'm in a hurry, so I peeled it off and I tore some, just to show you. Uh, near optical clarity, uh, I still have some trouble with bubbles. And uh, we have to get rid of more of the bubbles. Uh, and you can certainly do that on your own. And uh, But I'm going to show you what I've got here. This was at one point five milliliters of glycerin and it has some bubbles. And as you can see, it's still rather brittle. So Two milliliters, we have quite a stiff product. So between 0.5 or uh, 1.5, we're still brittle, just a slight bump to two, and we have something very rigid. This sample size is also more thick. Uh, this is 25 milliliters. This one is 20 milliliters. Now, as you can see, they're a bit bumpy, and these can be straightened out and under a dry iron. Put it, put it between towel. And here's a slightly more thick version of the last mix which was the four milliliters of glycerin the addition of the glycerin has taken out uh, a lot of the bumpiness it's much more flexible and this is where we want to be for something like a face shield I would think so. and of course the bubbles we can still see those and it's an important point to continue here but in another video I'm going to close up with making some things with what I have here so enjoy and take care bye bye now